pleased to be joined on 1010XL 92.5 FM with Jaguars receiver Zay Jones. Zay, great to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm doing great. How was your break? It was good, man. I enjoyed it. A lot of fun times with the family, getting better, and just excited to be out here. I got to say, I think you might have been the MVP of the schedule release video. I love the scenes that you were in. How much fun was that to make? Hey, thank you for that, man. It was it was so enjoyable. It was just a good time. Um, and the idea was brought to us as a team. I thought it'd be a just a fun way for us to express ourselves. You know, us players, it's such a serious game all the time. We have our helmets on, so to come out of the helmet to give fans and the people who watch us a, a different side of us, uh, it was thoroughly enjoyable. What's it like playing with these guys? It seems like, I mean, I've covered this as my 11th Jaguars year. I don't know that I've ever seen a receiving core that seems this tight. Uh, have you ever experienced this, and how would you describe kind of the relationships that, that you guys have in the room i've had uh similar experiences with rooms being uh this close like my past relationship on the raiders but having more of a veteran leadership presence here that's the main difference for myself and being able to be with just different athletes and learn from them um i said that i've never seen a team mesh as fast as we have uh in my past experiences it's taken you know a few years to really feel like a part of that family but here it's almost felt uh very organized organic and instant, um, which I can't say is everywhere. So to play on the, alongside the people like Christian Kurt and Jamal Agnew, um, and now Calvin Ridley, Evan Ingram, you know, extension of the wide receiver room in a sense for tight ends. Um, it's been a blessing and I'm just humbled to play alongside those guys. They make my job easier. What's it like for you being in year two and having all the familiarity with Doug and Press and Trevor and how much does that help your game? It's, it makes everything just just way more relaxed as far as um, just having that uh, familiarity and being comfortable and coming to work and enjoying my space. The atmosphere that you come to work in is very crucial to your success. I think you can have success yeah, if you don't like your environment, but if you love your environment and you, and you love the atmosphere that you've created, it just makes going to work that much greater. And um, I, I love the job that you know Press and Doug and those guys did and bringing in uh, Chad Hall. I had previous experiences with him in Buffalo uh, for those two and a half years I was there. Chad, Chad makes everything very easy going in the, in the meeting room, but he still has a level of respect that he requires and the level that he pushes us to be great. So I'm just extremely grateful to be a part of this group, Hayes. How has he grown as a coach since you, uh, you know, worked under him? It's kind of crazy, man. I, Chad saw me when I was like 21 years old. I saw him before his kids. I saw him before, you know, when he was kind of in that more of assistant role and to see where he is now, you know, his whole family, all of his kids and you know, where I'm at now, going on seven years in the league. We've both matured in a lot of sense. We've seen a lot of ball. He's coached a lot of ball. Um, his team has been to the playoffs. Um, he's coached who I think is one of the best receivers in the league, Stefan Diggs. I don't shy away from saying that. I really love his game. And so, um, you know, we both just have matured in uh, just our experience and just the way he's able to communicate. I mean, he's seen a variety of receivers come through his room and this room. And so, just his versatility and being flexible. What does this individual player need versus, you know, just trying to force a system on people? I think he's very meticulous in that sense in his approach. Uh, Zay, what have you seen uh, out of Trevor in terms of the growth and command uh, compared to this time last year? <sighs> um, Trevor consistently just has a great poise about himself. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite characteristics about Trevor and as a person and player, just his confidence level. Um, he's never really too high. He's more so in like this uh, kind of like sunken place of I'm good, everything is fine. Um, but just how fluid he's moving right now, um, I can't speak for himself, so I'm sure he has his tweaks, but the way he steps, in the, steps up in the pocket, I saw Trevor um, take a drop, step up in the pocket, spin the ball in his hands, and, and deliver a post to Kevin Austin in between Rayshon Jenkins and Tyson Campbell the other day and I sent it to him and I was like bro this is such a good throw and um, he's a guy whether he makes a great play or a bad play it always just keep, seems to keep just he just flows um, just like his hair so <laughs> I think that uh, it, it's just the 
the space that he's in as far as like being fluid and, and seeing things I think is happening um, at a great rate for him right now. Say, so what are the things that, that you specifically work on in terms of your game and your craft at this time of, of training camp while we're still, you know, five, six weeks out from the opener? Uh, I always, for, for me personally, I always try to put myself in a difficult situation. Um, so, for instance, like when we, when we go one on ones, um, I typically won't work a route that I'm like extremely confident in and like think that it's easy or like I typically try to pick a route that is difficult to beat in one on one. So, for instance, like a, a deeper out route, you know, go inside so the defender is outside. So you have to work a move to beat him outside. And, and I just take great pride in that because I feel like that's where you can take the next step as a player. Um, when you're tired and you know you could take a rep off, you know, finishing 10 more yards won't hurt you. So I just try to pick spots where I can really push myself. So when we're playing in the playoffs versus the Chiefs and it's the third quarter and it's cold outside, you know, you're, you're putting your body through adverse situations and mentally in adverse situations. So you can't can be prepared for those moments. It doesn't guarantee you anything and just potentially gives you an opportunity to make a play happen. Great stuff. Say Jones, pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck as training camp keeps going. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it.